started. Started on the team. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team there. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team there. I didn't get to real from the jump. Living at my mom's house, we argue every month. I was trying to get it on my own. Working all night, traffic on the way home. And my uncle calling me like, where you at? I give you the keys, so you bring it right back. I just think it's funny how it goes. Now I'm on the road, half a million for a show. And we started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team there. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Boys tell stories about a man. Say I never struggled, wasn't hungry, yet I doubted. I could turn your boy into the man. They ain't really much of here that's popping off without us. We just want the credit where it's due. I'ma worry about me, give a f about you. Just as a reminder to myself, I wear every single chain, even when I'm in the house. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team there. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. No noon, we don't feel that. Fake friend, where your real friends at? We don't like to do too much explaining. Story says the same, I never changed it. No noon. We don't feel that F fake friend where your real friends at. We don't like to do too much explaining. Story says the same through the money and the fame. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team f there. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. <laughs> hey everybody. <laughs> oh, well, how are we gonna start this one off? So we started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we got this basement done. Basement's done. Yes. And I think I want to start off before my husband gets into all the technicalities. Okay. I want to start off with saying how much I love my husband. And how I have the best mm. husband in the world. Oh, wow. And I say that because he knew how important this basement was for me. Um, I campaigned for the basement way before we moved out here. Why, I don't know. My higher consciousness knows, but I don't. But I really wanted and emphasized the need for having a basement to store our food, having a cool, dry place to be able to store our food. And um, it's so much that you guys don't see in the videos. Um, what you guys don't know is that after we posted that last uh, basement video and we were all done with the ceiling on and everything, um, my husband was digging a line, the water line, so he can lay the piping and drill the hole for that pipe um, to have everything set up for the water. Well, we got a lot of rain, like, the next day. A lot. And all that water filled into that line, got into that hole, and blew out two walls in that basement. And when I tell you, I've never been so devastated in my life. <laughs> I never felt so defeated. I think we both did. Um, I cried. I'll give you my spirit. <laughs> Right. Uh, it, it was it was it was bad. When I tell you it looked like someone dropped a bomb in the basement, 
It literally did. Mm-hmm. That's no so exaggeration. Like stick of dynamite. Then. Right. And I mean, it was broken pieces of block everywhere. Mm-hmm. The rebar was twisted and bent like a straw. It was a mess. And I was totally devastated. Um, and I did not see us cleaning all that debris out and doing it all over again. Mm-hmm. But, you know, my husband said, well, we got to do it. And we did. We cleaned that out. We redid the walls, and this time we reinforced it a lot better. And um, and it looks like nothing ever happened. And with all of that being said, for my husband to put so much detail and love into doing the stairs, and you know, letting his uh, his artistic creativity, creativity come through, <laughs> you know, and he really did. Um, you know, I have to give him praises for that um, because there was a lot to have to go through. So, and I share that story with you all, especially in light of everything that's going on. You know, some of you have lost your job. Some of you have lost your family members or friends because of this thing that's going around. And, you know, at times in life, you can have moments of defeat. But, you know, you have to keep going on. You have to learn the lessons. There were lessons from that event that we learned, especially in regards to building. And I'm glad that we did go through and clean it out and redo it. And I was much better. And so I give you guys that um, because the last thing we want you to think is that we just snap our fingers out here and everything is done in perfection and we have no events. <laughs> we have all the events. <laughs> so, right. so I just wanted to share that story with you guys. And again, I love you and thank you, baby. You're very welcome. I got the perfect team member right here. Yes, yes. Okay, bro. Well, that was a great introduction. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to piggyback off all of that. I took notes this time. Because <laughs> I had so much that I want to say. Um, this video is going to probably be a little less technical and going a little more philosophical. Only because I feel the need of the message needs to be said. Um, there's a lot going on right so much going on, your head is spinning. You don't know what to believe. You don't know what to think. Uh, some of you think you know what to believe. You think you know what to think. But it's a deep rabbit hole right now. Okay? Um, I will say this. Be careful what you believe. Be careful who you're listening to. Um, don't forget what you know historically about 1921, about the Tuskegee experiment about vaccinations and other things that already we know to be true as it relates to Alzheimer's and, uh, what is it, Alzheimer's? Dementia. Dementia, and what about with the kids? Autism. 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 Mm-hmm. So be careful what you believe. I'm going to stop there um, with that. Um, the philosophical point I want to bring into play is belief in self. We are always taught to believe and trust somebody else, Jesus, our job. The responsibility of taking care of ourselves, we put in other people's hands, other God-like people's hands, whatever the way you want to define it. People rather work a job than be self-employed. People find more fear in being in control of their economics than they do punching a clock and having a guaranteed rate of return for their time. That always astounded me, you know, me being a self-employed person. I didn't like the idea of somebody dictating me a raise, telling me when they was gonna give me 10, 25 dollars, a dollar more an hour. That never sat well with me. So, those of you who know me out there, you know, self-employed business person. But my comments are going so much deeper right now. Believe in self. Overall. Vice believing in the concept of somebody coming to save you. It's time, people, we save ourselves. 
So when I say save yourself, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about not putting all your faith, trust in a system, in an organization, whether that be your church, your congregation, whatever. Church or congregation ain't got no grocery store. When shit hit the fan, who gonna feed you? Well, you can feed yourself. How? Start yourself a garden. Okay. So that's the first thing I wanna bring up. I keep coming back to this garden and stuff the last couple of videos. You notice that? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Message. <laughs> Message. <laughs> There's some things about to go down. Message. Please, people, listen to the message. Put faith in yourself. Put belief in yourself. The scriptures tell you, God help those who help themselves. So I'm not bashing anything. So please, don't nobody come jumping on my throat talking about, he said, don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said, put your faith in yourself. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to say start off with. It's belief in self. All right. Dedication. The second thing I want to talk about. Dedication is a very broad thing. A lot of people don't quite define dedication probably as deeply as me and my wife do. So I want to put dedication out there also as a topic. If you dedicate, if you believe in yourself, you're going to be dedicated to yourself. And if you're dedicated to yourself, a lot of the things that are about to happen won't affect you so directly. For instance, back to the garden. You know, you're starting to notice the lines, line of Sam's clubs, and shit like that. Well, if you got you something growing, and you got you some way to preserve yourself, you're not so dependent. And then you become dedicated to that process. You become dedicated to ensuring that that process is functionable. Not just dedicated in your case. Now you start bringing family members and you guys become dedicated together. And you start piggybacking off each other. Because I'm here to tell you, and I hate to have to say this, shit gonna get worse. Way, 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 way worse. What we've seen right now ain't nothing. So I don't mean to be the, the uh, negative nasty. <laughs> but somebody got to say it. Because if no one says it and everybody's too fearful to say it, then nobody out there is going to listen and move and make adjustments in their behavior or their life or even for their children to have a back door or a plan for what's about to go down. Okay? So... Now, I'm going to speak to the, the comment about the basement, okay? Because my wife is right, you know, it was devastating. But I'm going to tell you what happened with my experience. I came outside after it rained, and I was walking around, and I was looking, and I walked over here, and I saw the basement just, boom, imploded. And I said, fuck! <laughs> That's really what I said. I was like, fuck! <laughs> I walked around for a half an hour outside before I even went in and told my wife. Because I was trying to figure out how to tell her. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you what happened. I remember thinking to my higher consciousness and saying to myself, okay, I have faith in you. I believe in you. You don't make no mistakes. So if this calamity happened, it was ordained. It was a necessity for me to get something. And I said that day, I said, if something positive come out this shit, <laughs> I would never question my higher self ever again. Ever. I said, I'm going to just sit back you know, I remember telling my wife and she bust out crying. I was trying to tell her, baby, don't cry. You know, we know better. We know that, you know, just don't ha bad stuff don't happen to you. There's no such thing as something bad. That's right. You know, your perception might think it's bad, but it's not bad if you learn how to see the silver lining in everything. 
okay? That goes back to belief in self. When you get to a mental conscious place that you don't see nothing bad, you're at another place. So anyway, we were at the stage of trying to decide about the bedroom. And I had just laid the block in the basement. And after that happened, of course, my confidence was shattered about my block laying skills. So what happened was we got a neighbor that lives out here. And we happened to chit-chat. And this neighbor hadn't talked to us in like two years since we've been here. You know, that's it. You know, whatever. So this neighbor is a bricklayer. I said, hey, bro, I got some brick over here. You know, can I give you a few dollars? Help me out, you know. So anyway, he comes over. He helps me put the wall back together. I learned so much from watching him. My confidence took off to be able to do this bedroom. Because what my dilemma was is if I didn't have the confidence to do the bedroom in block, I was going to have to do it in wood. And I don't want to do it in wood because you guys in my other videos, you've heard me keep speaking about the winds and how bad they're going to get. So if I did it in wood, I already know it ain't going to survive. So I didn't want to do it in wood. But meeting this guy and him helping me put that back together gave me the tutelage I needed to build that bedroom. So had that collapse never happened, I wouldn't have got the skill set I needed to build that bedroom, which means I probably would have built that shit out of wood, which means when these winds go bananas, I probably would have lost my damn bedroom. <laughs> but now, that thing is 45 with 5 8 rebar, cement filled in each hole all the way around, split face block, the thing ain't going nowhere. So, that's my two cents on that event that it was a learning experience and it goes back to my premise of the beginning, believe in self and learn how to believe in yourself. With everything that's about to happen, believe in self is going to be the most important tool in your toolbox that you're going to need. Okay? So, enough on that. All right. Now, let's get to some of the technical stuff. The stuff some of y'all just want to watch the channel for. Cause some of that other stuff, y'all like, man, let me fast forward. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> All right. So the biggest technical thing I had to deal with was them stairs. <sighs> them stairs, them stairs, them stairs. Them stairs took me back to eighth grade math with rise and run. So if any of y'all got any eighth graders right now, you better get in that room and learn rise and run with that. Because <laughs> if you don't, you're going to have a problem if you ever got to deal with something related to some stairs. So rise and run was a real big thing. To do rise and run, you got to have a square like this. All right? Basically, you got to figure out a pitch. And once you figure out a pitch, a pitch is your steepness. You determine how much run to how much rise. And if you hold the square like this and put it on each one of the run and rises and just keep moving it along the wood, you'll make a rise and run staircase. So I just gave you the simple, easy way. It took me three damn days <laughs> to figure out how to do it. But that's all we do. You just basically got the right square. They even make these squares with little notches on them right here. So you can place them on the wood and just run that right against the edge of the wood. And it'll make your rise and run automatically. And then you just keep repeating the pattern. That's it. The part that does take a little bit of, of skill and attentive to detail is the top and the bottom. In this video, I'm not going to get into that too much. I'm just giving you a basic introduction. So if you really need to watch it, go find Rise and Run videos on staircases and really study them. Because it is important if you have to do a staircase. You know, two, three stairs, no big deal, but we had to do 15 runs. So it was really major. Okay. Um, so that was a real big thing. Uh, next thing I want to speak to, plans. Again. Um, <laughs> blueprints. Again. If you got the bread, hire an architect. All right. Hire a good one. <laughs> get, 
Get referrals, okay? I know, right? <laughs> Get a goddamn referral. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, for real, because we really shot the idea of the doing a basement off our hip. Man, off our off ass. Off our hip. I know she's talking about hip off our ass. <laughs> <laughs> She, she trying to be politically correct. No, we made that shit up. <laughs> we really did. And like in our previous vid- like videos lately, we've been talking about the importance of drawing things out, which, you know, having an architect to draw it out for you. We just made a 10 by 10. Okay, that's big enough, I guess. <laughs> 10 feet high. Guess that's okay. As long as where we're going to put it in the house. I don't know. As long as it's sitting somewhere up under the shipping containers, that's all that matters. And that was our thought process. And we really did not think it through. We did not have any plans. And once we set the containers, okay, how the hell are we going to get in there? Mm -hmm. You know? And so we really just shot this off the top of our heads. And then we were trying to figure out, okay, well, well, how are we going to do the stair spiral? I'm so glad we didn't try to do (sighs) the spiral. Staircases yeah. that would have drove me insane that running been, around. In that would have been a catastrophe, right? It, it would. It would. It would. And then me with my extra stuff. Well, baby, I want an elevator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not elevator first. My husband's like, no, you're no. not getting an elevator. So the stairs ended up, thank God, turning out the best way that it could. We have a way to get in and out the basement, and it flows with the whole living space of the house. So it ended up working out. It did. It did. <laughs> Thank God. It did. Like, <laughs> man. For real. But but that goes back to the point. Belief in self. Right. Because we believed it would work. It, it did. did. If we would have believed it wouldn't have worked, it wouldn't have. Mm-mm. So remember that, guys. Law of attraction, for those of you who are consciously waking up, law of attraction is real. Yeah, it is. Okay? It's real. And law of attraction works like a two-way street. If you are constantly a negative in your thoughts, you're going to attract negativity. Mm-hmm. If you're constantly a positive functionality in your thoughts, you're going to attract positiveness. Mm-hmm. Your thoughts are the most powerful mechanism in your existence. You just don't realize it. That's true. You know, your thoughts can either be your God or your devil. Yep. They create your reality. They create your reality, depending on where your thoughts are. Mm-hmm. Remember that. Okay? All right, so planes. Uh, there's another thing I put in here called a linear actuator. I'll let you see that, but that was my little. For those of you who might know, you'll be interested in seeing it. Um, so I think that's about it. The biggest thing, you know, learn to square, learn to rise and run. Um, be precise in your measurements. Understand precision. Um, oh, I'm going to share this with you real quick, real quick, real quick. Another one about thoughts real fast. So, I was having, to, I'm getting ready to put these doors and stuff in and I was getting really emotionally connected to not being frustrated with not understanding how it worked. So, one night we're going to bed, I'm all cranky and stank. You know, my poor wife. You know, I'm all emotional. I don't like it when I don't know something, right? So, I'm trying to figure some shit out. I couldn't figure it out. So, finally, I'm laying in the bed. I said, oh, <laughs> it's a half inch off on each side because a drywall is a half inch. The drywall equals out. Okay, so I figured out the situation, right? But the lesson is this. My thoughts gave me hell that night. I stayed up half the damn night, tossing and turning, boom, 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 boom. So I realized it was my thoughts. And I said, okay, Brian, you done came out here, drilled a well, damn near finished this house, built it, fenced it, roof. I said, why are you tripping about something you don't know right now? I said, don't act like that. So I was having a difficulty the next day with the door and the hinges. So it got cold. I said, stop, put it down, went house, forgot about it, left it alone, came out the next day, kept my thoughts positive, figured it out like that. So I just want to share that example with you. When you feel that negativity coming in your thoughts, shut it off. Shut it down. Let it go. Save it for the next day to be positive and positively motivated. Whatever you're doing. Care if we're talking about building, changing something in your car, dealing with your kids, dealing with your wife. Dealing with your husband. Dealing with your husband. Mm -hmm. Stay positive. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's our communication. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Till next time, be free. Be free. Telling these goddamn kids what to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's Toby. And that's Kizzy. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Toby and Kizzy. <laughs> Basement time. Basement time. Basement time. There we go. Basement time. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. yeah. Under here, <laughs> we're about to find the greatest archaeological find of all time. <laughs> it's a basement from the year 19. No, 2020. That's my baby. <laughs> So then nobody break in our basement. Right. <laughs> Hot damn. Hot damn. Hot damn. There you go. We left the ladder in there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Hell no. Yes, what are you doing? Because I got all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I've been studying for two days. Trying to figure out how to cut stairs. <laughs> I finally think I got it. I think you got it. I think I got it. By George, he thinks he has it. Man, stairs is no joke. I'm telling you. But of course, my wife wanted to have a base. That's right. So she makes her husband how to learn how to do stairs. That's right. Good man.
some molding or something on here. Okay. Cover up the cut. Okay. Cover that all up. Put all right. some molding or some shit on there. Make it look good again. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. I'll figure something out. We'll put it around the edge. Mm -hmm. It'll be a half curve out and then I'll just nail gun it like that. Okay. And nail gun this one like that. Maybe even cut a piece. Um, that'll fit in here, mm -hmm. that'll curve down Most to this. Most people just leave it like thing. that. No, not right. <laughs> not the perfectionist. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and close it. Bingo. Hot damn. Yeah. Go. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. 
smooth. There we go. All right. Now. Okay, everybody. So you saw us working on the stairs. You saw us do the um, leveling of the floor in the basement. We did the door. So now we have everything set up. And now we're actually have an entrance to our basement. So let's see how this goes. All right, so that is our the outside of our basement door. Get close up here. So this is the outside of the basement door. So let's go down in the basement. I promise, baby. I, I, I won't leave the seat up no more. I swear, baby. I won't leave the seat up no more, baby. Just don't let me down here no more, baby. It's dark, baby. Please, baby, please, baby. I, 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 I'll be good, baby. I'll be good. I swear, baby. Don't lock me down here. Don't lock me down here no more, baby. Please, baby. I'll be a good husband. I'll be a good husband, baby. I'll be a good husband, baby. Yeah, man. How you like me now? For real. <laughs> so, guys, this is the entrance to our basement. We did not know how all of this was going to turn it now when we dug the basement. But it was better than our imaginations could ever have thought of. I could not have thought of this being any more better and more beautifully designed than what it is. So let's go down here and check it out. Light for you. We got the light. We got the light in here. That's good. This is the inside of the basement. The floor turned out real nice. It's nice and level so we can do our tile. I repainted the walls white or off white because it gives it a much cleaner look, yeah, bigger we were, feel. We realized the bed was a little too dark. Yeah. So, so catch me sitting on them so we can get it. No, no, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's nice and cool down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a refrigerator. It does. So this is going to be a nice root cellar. This will be where I store all of my harvest, my food. So in another video, you will see us um, insulate and put up a ceiling and light fixture, do the tile flooring for the floor, and put in the shelving for all the food in here. And that'll be in a separate video. But this is the end result, guys. And it looks really, 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 really great. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, for sure. Ain't hey, that the truth? Mm -hmm. Till next time, be free. Be free.
noon We don't feel that F Fake friend, where your real friends at? We don't like to do too much explaining Story stays the same, I never changed it No noon We don't feel that F Fake friend, where your real friends at? We don't like to do too much explaining Story stays the same through the money and the fame Started from the bottom, now we're here Started from the bottom, now my whole team f there Started from the bottom, now we're here Started from the bottom, now the whole team here Started from the bottom, now we're here Started from the bottom, now my whole team here Started from the bottom, now we're here Started from the bottom, now my whole team here